All right, so looking at the control surfaces from, uh, from the back of the plane moving forward, uh, right now we're looking at the elevator surface. And uh, the elevator, of course, is going to be uh, on a Mode 2 transmitter, uh, the right stick. So I'm looking for a couple of things here. Number one, with the stick in the center position, um, I want this to be neutral, not pushing down, not pulling up. Um, as neutral as I can get it. Now this is foam, so um, the interesting thing about foam is these surfaces may not be completely flat. There may be a little bit of flex to them, uh, in which case it looks like I might have a little bit here on mine because this side uh, is, uh, is almost dead on. This side, however, looks like it might be a little bit tweaked, but that's okay. We'll have to trim that out um, uh, when we set up our, our in-flight trim. But get it as close as you can to level. The other thing is you want to check the, the proper movement. So we're going we're gonna to check the control neutral uh, position at the same time as we check movement. So again, the elevator is here. And you want exactly this control. So when I pull back on the stick, the elevator raises which is actually going to raise the nose. When I push forward on the stick, the elevator is going to lower, which is going to allow the nose to, uh, to, to pitch forward. So make sure that that is in the right direction. That's absolutely critical to get that right. And then make sure when you let go that it releases at the uh, center point. If it doesn't, um, I would recommend doing the mechanical adjustment of uh, lengthening or shortening this control rod uh, as it goes back to the to the control horn. So that's how you would adjust it. Later on, uh, when we get into flight mode, um, we can use trims to make those adjustments. But you want to get everything as close as you can mechanically first. Um, so let's go on and look at the the rudder next. All right. So looking at the rudder which again, mode two is going to be the left stick and you want it to go in the same direction you turn the stick. And then when you release, you want it to come back in to as neutral of a position as you can get it mechanically. And that looks pretty darn good there. All right, while you're here, uh, before you move on, the other thing you want to do is check your control horns your clevises, make sure everything is nice and tight, nothing's come loose um, during the build process or post build or if this is a pre-flight check, make sure nothing's come loose in flight. But double check all of that while you're at it. There's no point uh, just trusting that that's going to work without taking a good look at it. Uh, let's move on to the aileron controls. Alright, with the ailerons on a Mode 2 uh, transmitter, it's going to be this right stick. Okay, and uh, the direction you want the, uh, the ailerons to go is to raise up on the direction you're pushing the stick. So see how I push the stick right, the right aileron goes up. If I push the stick left, the left aileron goes up. And the other one will go down, so they're opposites. So that's the direction you want that to work. When you're done checking that and everything looks okay, double check and make sure your control surfaces are all flat and in a neutral position across the back of the wing. Double check your horn, your clevis, everything. Make sure everything looks like it's good there. Now we're going to move to flaps. On my transmitter, flaps is controlled by a switch here, uh, which is the flap switch. And as you can see, when I flip the switch, my flaps will go down. Uh, and that's the position of the flaps when they're on is in the down position. You want to make sure that your flaps are moving together. So unlike the ailerons, which are opposite of one another, the flaps move uh, together as one. So if you don't have that action happening, then you've got to uh, find a way to reverse your other flap. Um, so just basically make sure that when the flaps are in the off position 
or the zero position or the neutral position, however you want to term it, that uh, your control surfaces, again, are neutral. Double check your horns, make sure that they're in there nice and tight, your clevises are on, your servo arm looks all good. Just double check all of that uh, and then you should be good to go there. How much you deploy your flaps is going to be up to you. Um, I would say, first of all, as a beginner, just doing a maiden, I wouldn't even worry about the flaps. Uh, uh, that's uh, something to deal with later. Um, but, you know, somewhere between the 30 to 50% throw might be a good place to start. Um, but engagement of flaps will dramatically change flight characteristics. So if you're not prepared for it or you're not comfortable with it, uh, don't do that unless you're three mistakes high so you can understand how to react to it. So now that we have all of our control surfaces all figured out, the other thing to do is double check that our motor is actually...